Uh, we just want to interrogate the statement. I have a few concerns, Honorable Speaker. One, I think as a, as a National Assembly, we should sit back and understand what is going on. I'm seated with some members of that committee, Madam Speaker, and they are expressing satisfaction on what's going on. Madam Speaker, few fundamental issues about such a thing. I don't understand how such a, a program can go on without public, uh, without public participation. This is a house of rules. We enact laws. We are supposed to follow the laws. Two, Madam Speaker, the greatest systems, most sophisticated, KRA, name them, have never had of a system that cost one or four billion. A system, Madam Speaker. I'm told the system, the, the platform that NHIF ran on, they only needed 700 million to upgrade. But I'm hoping 104 billion. Madam Speaker, you must also understand that these people did single sourcing. The government went for single sourcing for such an amount of money. We cannot allow this to go on in this country. We are saying, take a step back, go and listen to what Kenyans are saying. We cannot take all the important infrastructure of this government in one foreigner called Adani. We cannot. We cannot give him the airport. We cannot give him Ketrako. We cannot give him our health system. It's going to collapse. Lastly, Madam Speaker, I have read and interrogated this statement very well. The benefits that uh, NHIF was giving were superior than the benefits this uh, system is going to give, Madam Speaker. I want to beseech this National Assembly that when the country is headed in a wrong direction, we must say no, let's step back and listen. This thing is a bad thing. It is